Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 115 to 116. Let's go ahead and get started. Content warning. This episode contains mentions of suicide and self-harm. Viewer discretion is advised. So, okay, hopefully I can post this on YouTube, but some part, some of the words I know for sure I have to beep out for YouTube purposes, so please bear with me. I will have all these reads on Patreon without any sort of censorship, so check it on there if you guys like. Here we go. Please turn on sound. Alright. Transaction concluded. Case free. The plans for the delivery has been changed thanks to your most recent fiasco. Our other hideouts are safe for now, at least. And it is not thanks to you. I've been mandated to take care of the operation from now on. I hope that you will prove yourself to be more competent than the other fools. They are being taken care of. Good. Here are the new directives. You know who to give them to. Redcliffe's plans might have been shattered, but not the leaders. Oh. Uh, huh? Oi, Miss Lloyd, this isn't a place to sleep. Phew. <gasps> Gruesome. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Purple Hyacinth, episode 115. Belladonna, what a charming surprise. How was work today? Short and sweet as always. You went angry on this one. What's wrong with having a little fun from time to time? Isn't that your former colleague? Precisely. Want to help me move the body like in the good old days, Karen? Not particularly, no. Come on! I'm, I'm gonna have to wipe the blood clean, or the shop owner's going to be get mad at me again. Kill him in some dark, narrow alley like normal people do next time. <sighs> Too mainstream. Alright. You're dealing with the blood on your own, though. Where are you going to drop this off? <laughs> Good old Mar Mariah... Mariarty? How do you say that word? Hold on. Morarty. That's what it says on Google. Okay, sorry guys. It's going to take care of him. Might send him back to his family. I'm not sure the family wants to see this. The speed at which your victims decompose is amazing. It's not that bad. It just needs a little shaping. To the salon! Oh my gosh! It, what, what show was it from? It just needs a little shaping. To the salon! I don't know. Do you guys remember? It's on TikTok and Instagram all over. It's like a it's a sound bite. Morgue. To the morgue. So, what did you kill him? Trying to gain some redeeming points after the shit show your operations has been? Just like your mission to find Loon, you mean? End result? The same, isn't it? can't say the same for you. <laughs> My role has always been to watch and kill. I was keeping an eye for them for the seventh, but I'm working for the leader before anyone else. The order came from him. I don't need redeeming points. Your apostle might, though. You know how much our leader appreciates people scheming behind his back. He managed to get a lot of followers in the last weeks. They're just waiting for a signal. I'll be more worried about what 
going to happen if he's murdered than what the leader does to him. Fleming's about time he died. Is the operation still even on now that everyone's dead? Oh. Is the operation still uh, even on now that everyone's dead? Of course. We just got reinforcements. Nobody's irreplaceable. Except maybe you and I. But between you and me, I'm sure the leader knows who's more trustworthy. What are you trying to insinuate, fellow? I've always wondered why you kept working for us. Even after what happened. Was I ever given a choice? Killing is always a choice. We were children when they forced it upon us. Ah, oh, how pitiful. Ending it all has always been the other option. But you haven't taken it yet. And, no, you had a reason, like we all did. And since the reason's been gone for years, I've always wondered what your motivation is now. Revenge, perhaps? <laughs> You'd be a very patient man if that was a case. I'll give you that. Well, then. If you're so convinced of my shifty allegiance, why haven't you reported me already? <laughs> you know why. I still have some sense of honor, despite what you might think. I've ca keep my word until you're stupid enough to actually betray us. Who am I going to train? What if you're gone with? Train with if you're gone. Everyone else dies so quickly. It's boring. flattered to be the one and only to hold your level. You also still owe me, remember? I'll pay you back in time. What is even up with you? The forethought is worthy to teach me a lesson just a few days ago. Don't get too jealous. But his messenger just told me I might get a big gig to make up for my assignment. <laughs> I wonder if it'll involve killing your little detective. Like you said, you would, remember? Or is she actually your girlfriend now? Come on now, since we're old friends, you can tell me. My mind hasn't changed. I know better than to burden myself with such weakness for them to prey on. A lesson some of us still have to learn. She means nothing to me anymore. Right. Would you kill her if your apostle order you to? It would be my pleasure to slice his throat open if he does. Oh, good. For once, I must say I would approve your mis murderous intentions. <laughs> Though, once upon a time, you would have died for your apostle. I am stronger now. And I suppose you think you owe it to the Phantom Scythe. I do. We do. You know the faith that awaits the Great Chapel's orphans. The circus freed me from that life. But the Apostle made me powerful. So, make yourself useful. Don't come back. Don't come back before you've sold everything. Right. What's I saying again? A bloody cage is still a cage. Except the ones, only one that feels trapped here is you. Am I though? I need to prepare for tomorrow night's kill. Let me go. See you around, Karen. Have fun. <sighs> I wonder. 
but it will be my next visit to the morgue. <sighs> All right, that was a lot, okay? Music is on. Purple Hyacinth, episode 116. Is he has, is he uh, having a nightmare? Lauren. <gasps> has, yeah, it's a nightmare. Uh, oh. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lauren. Not you too. A better person, but it's not enough. You thought it'd be enough, but you made a mistake. It was a test, poor fool. No, wait! Is this a nightmare? It will never be enough. They were all friends together. All right, perfect. Tag, oh, gotcha. Hey, hey, you little brat, that's cheating. Come back here. Dylan, I swear if you throw it your hat again. Tag, now that's cheating. I don't care. Dylan. not the train station it's an inauguration day Dylan and Lauren were supposed to be there everybody stand back it is too dangerous what happened everybody stand back Are you okay? Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here now. Lord. <gasps> we, we have to get away from here. No, Dylan, it's hot. It's hot. We have to look for him. We have to. He's gone, Lord. We have to get away. Bang, bang. Lord, it's so good to see you. You're well. Huh. I don't think she be she's ready to be back yet, neither physically nor mentally. I don't think so either. That kind of events haunts you. And many things are still left unsaid. Perhaps it is safer that way. I am so happy to see you, Lauren. It's been 10 days. We were so worried for you. 
you got jealous of Hawks and Liddell and wanted to do your own near-death experience? <laughs> Trust me, I would have rather avoided the car accident. It's good to see you again, Lauren. Take it easy, all right? Of course she won't. She never rested a single day since she was a kid, this one. I'm glad you're well, Lauren. When I heard you had a car accident, I could believe it. Are you sure this isn't too soon? People can cover for you. The doctor said a gradual comeback would be fine. Everybody's working over time since the new measures. I don't want to let you guys down. Only half days for the next two weeks. Three days a week at most. Please don't keep it to yourself if you ever need, if you ever start to feel fully unwell. This Friday, you are on the security team with Liddell at the Mirage Opera House. There will be a play with many nobles attending, and your, our presence has been requested. Don't we get to watch the play, too? You'll be on duty, Sergeant Liddell. Oh, God. Yon leaneth me life. Lendeth the lieutenant a heart replete with mere loveth and affability. So, get to work, Liddell. Speaking of patrol, I'm gonna go get ready. They've been acting normal, yet the mood in the office feels off. Maybe it's because Grumpy Cat isn't back yet. Huh? Officer Sinclair, welcome back. Thank you, Captain Herman. How are you feeling since your car accident? Feeling much better, sir. It's good. Truly regrettable what happened. Where were the odds for it to happen on the same night as the explosion? I'm sorry I couldn't answer the call for backup. Yes, it is unfortunate. <laughs> What's more unfortunate is that I do not believe you. Pardon me? I don't believe that accident. You're visibly injured. You've got records going to the hospital. But I don't believe your t little tell. What? Fortunately for you, though, your uncle is backing you up. And the king's right hand is conveniently cooperating, corro corroborating the story. So there's nothing that can be done about it. It's apparently the truth. For now. What's going on here? I was wishing off for Sinclair a smooth recovery and return to work. By the look of her fa on her face, I'm sure she's appreciating the welcome back. Let's hope she gets back to full function quickly. We need all our officers in these trying times. For the God's sake, Herman. She's injured. She's already back before she could, should. No need to be more unfair to her. Of course, f of course. Far be it from me to do so. Good day, detective, o detective, officer. Are you right? Yes, thank you. I, I don't understand what I've done to deserve so much hatred from him. You know. That he's always been en envious of your uncle, especially since his promotion. I'm afraid it has to do more with that than with you. He's already had wasn't any better with your parents when I used to work with them. Don't worry about him. <sighs> this is not good. <sighs> a lot to process. Well, we kind of knew Herman is a jerk, but now I'm wondering. I'm wondering, what if Herman is one of the apostles? You know, like, there are reasons why he's always onto her, Lauren. And he kind of does mess with her and prevent her from doing what she needs to do. Because she, he probably felt threatened by her. That she's her ability to uncover stuff. I think, I think that's why he hates her. I don't know. I might be wrong. 
But that's just an, a little ass, a, assumption there. But okay, a lot to digest, but it's good. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!